All right, today we're gonna be going over a little breakdown of some comms for the first time. So here is a LA Thieves versus Atlanta Tuscan Hardpoint. This is the listening in the COD Champs Grand Finals. And uh, what I wanna do is I just really wanna analyze and dissect some of these comms that you're hearing and why it was such a good listening for the LA Thieves. You know, apart from them absolutely smoking uh, Atlanta phase on these next two hills, you know, you're going to see a lot of tendencies that players usually do during those listenings. So I've slowed down the video to 0.75 speed so we can really go in and dissect some of these comms uh, because it's going to be hectic at first. And if you're not really used to hearing comms uh, from a team at like this high of a level, uh, it's going to be pretty difficult to understand right off the bat. So we'll go step by step and hill by hill and uh, we'll show you what they're working with here. So I'll leave a link in the description of the actual listening so you guys can follow along. But here I'm just going to take it piece by piece as I get new information from the players themselves. Let's go for a listen in. All right, first things first, Octane and Hill, uh, he's soaking here. They know that they just got a four down on Atlanta phase and they're going to be spawning in back P2 here. He is sitting in Hill watching out of the short door because the door's open and sees number six at BZ Cross. He keeps saying he's going maps, but he knows uh, he just has seen it cross, so he can go top radio uh, to top church and flank him there. Uh, next thing, Kenny is in a gunfight with Cell Short. He ends up losing the gunfight, but he says that Cell is weak. Uh, he says he's absolute to be in fact. And uh, Envoy is watching You know the back door here. It's really important for Envoy to relay to Octane Inhill what he's watching. Uh, so he says, I've got your back door, I've got your back door twice, just to reiterate it. And he's going to get this two piece here, which is pretty nice for the hold. And you know, in general, the situation where you're pushed out in front of your teammates, you want to be letting them know what you have so they, they can readjust and focus elsewhere accordingly. All right, two things right there. You know, Draza is the one who spawns up first at back P2. He says, we spawn here so that they know, you know, Atlanta is spawning out back P1 over here. And then you hear top last, top last from Sam Octane. He knows that a BZ was the last guy that they saw that they didn't kill, the guy who crossed into top radio. So he's just confirming that with his teammates. And uh, they just say, stay down on hill while they try and get the last guy, get a four down. Again, big dead out of Draza. That's really good comms just because we love to reinvigorate the squad a little bit, especially after a four down. You know, you love some energetic comms, uh, especially in the COD Champs Grand Finals. All right, three things there. Envoy communicates to his team that he's wrapping right and he's going to try and take a route for his team. Usually at the end of these P4s, people would try and take deep routes to try and get the back roof spawns because it was better to hold from there for P5. Uh, at, at that point, you know, I believe it's Draza who says, you know, get new, get new, because we have the spacing for it. 14 seconds, you know that they're all spawning, you know, back P1, back P3 area. So uh, Kenny responds to that with, I'm already a new, don't worry about it pretty much, I'm already a new. All right, a really big thing there from Sam Octane. You know, he's just telling his team, calm down, calm down. You know, sometimes the comms get super, you know, flooded with people getting excited, especially after a four down and such a big moment here. Uh, it's in COD Champs Grand Finals. You know, this is a really good job of him keeping them settled, bringing them back down to earth. And, uh, you know, Kenny responds with, you know, we're good, we're good. And at that point, he also says, you know, take a route. You know, obviously Envoy is already starting to try and he ends up dying but he's still directing them in that sense as well. So here you see Draza says, I'm coming with you. He's talking with Kenny here on the rotation. He's gonna say, I'm gonna stack time with you to help you out and uh, secure this rotation for them. So from Envoy's kill cam, he sees after he dies from Simp that he's going to be hitting through P1. So from that, he's just telling Octane that he could be hitting old as well. So here, Draza and Kenny, they're talking with each other, and I really want to address this uh, in the next few moments because LA Thieves does a really good job at coordinating with each other within these pairs. So you're going to see Kenny and Draza talking with each other at the same time that Octane and Envoy are talking with each other, and they do this pretty well because you know they're at split parts of the map, but they're still trying to gather the same goal of you know working together. 
He's Damn, playing I'm gonna yeah, yeah. I'm gonna so right there, Kenny and Draza talking with each other. Kenny goes, I have low, I have low. You can play the door. So again, it's really important to stress to your teammates what you have. And if you can, direct your teammates what to do because you know what's open on the map based on what you're watching yourself. Envoy goes, I'm going to help old guys because he saw that Simp was going to try and hit old. So he's just going to help Sam at this old time because in, t in case they do hit it and they do kill Sam on time, they might have a free pinch onto P5 themselves. Again, we're going to go back to the Kenny and Draza situation. They say they got naded in time. Draza communicates that. He goes, look low, look low. So they're still talking with each other while Sam and Envoy are, are talking with each other as well. Sam on the other side sees that two people actually hit him on scrap time. So that's big information for Envoy as he's going to get the trade here. He goes, Alec is front, Chris is old. So it's a big thing, especially for pro players, to not only track players, but player names so that you can tell, you know, where where you've killed people, who you've killed, and who might be still alive on the map and where they could be. So he goes, Alec is front, could go maps. He knows that he's not going to be hitting scrap time as well after he's backed out. So he's just saying to them that, you know, the only two possibilities of him backing out is technically doing the jump and uh, getting top radio from there or just going well to maps. Most commonly, they're just going to go well to maps in this situation. You know, Kenny and Draza are team working here. They get the first kill on the hill. Kenny even tells Draza to chow the last guy. He goes, chow him, chow him. Now they have another three down and they know where the last guy is again. They know Alec is the last guy who would have went, you know, well to maps. You know, this is a big kill for them because if he can get this kill on time, there's people, uh, three people outside of time for LA Thieves. So he can really stunt, you know, the, the hole that they have here with just killing this one guy on time. If he kills them out of time, they have to shift accordingly and, and try and basically re-break this with uh, their other players spawning up. And it just would become chaotic at that point. So Octane, really good comms out of him. He keeps repeating it. He knows where Alec is and he keeps saying he could have went well. He could be well. He could be well. That way that they know where he is and they can play for him. So they do this right here. He could already be in. They see him. He's on the stairs. They all chow him together. He goes, they all chow him. Meanwhile, Draz is just straight up going rogue here and getting another kill. He's just screaming dead. You know, great again for the comms. As long as you keep hearing dead, dead, you know, that gives the rest of your team superior confidence. You know, if you hear dead in the comms or, you know, one shot dead and you keep hearing that, it's just going to boost your confidence so much more. And uh, I swear, if I heard that in a listen, I would just not lose a gunfight for the rest of the game. He goes, I detonated my push. So even he's communicating nades. So again, Sam with some crazy good comms here. And he also says they could be close because, you know, they also have just spawned up probably you know, Z Alley here and he's just making sure that his team's aware of that, that you know that they get another four dead he just wants them to remain composed again, again another 1v1 that draws a wins huge 1v1 on the guy on the pinch and he just screams oh my god envoy going back a little bit I have your low, I have your low. So he's just communicating again what he has for his team. It's a big choke point to have this low well side. So he's just communicating with that with his team. Big calm out of Kenny. Reset bros, reset. They just got a full four down. Again, trying to remain composed for his team. This is actually a, a weird miscom from Envoy. He doesn't actually know that where they spawn here. Uh, just because they got the first two kills while the other two guys spawned up. Then they kill number eight here, and the last guy he sees is number six. So, uh, you know, this is just squad spawns taking to effect. Number six is past, you know, the halfway point in this hill, and he's just closer to this spawn point. So the rest of his team is going to spawn there. So he says one blue. He doesn't actually know that, unfortunately, just because of this game. 
And then Kenny goes, I don't see anything top blue. So at this point, they're just realizing, you know, they spawned out. It must have been a squan spawn, and they're going to look uh, accordingly towards the other side. So that's it for the listening, but I really want to go back to this one specific moment in the game where you do see Draza and Kenny and Sam and Envoy, you know, talking with each other in pairs and coordinating with each other. It's, it's this little small talk that they do with each other, you know, even though they don't know what's going on on the other side of the map with their teammates. He won. He won. Hey, that's fine. Here He's you go. hitting old, bro. He's going to go P1 to old. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So see how both of these pairs are talking with each other, you know, they're not necessarily tuning out the other two, but they're specifically focused on what, you know, their pair is saying. So while Sam and, and Envoy are talking about old time and, you know, Alec last one well, they're focused on that for their team. You know, the cross map teamwork is that, you know, Draz and Kenny are talking about how they're going to hold this next rotation of P5. And then once they get a kill, how they're going to chow this last guy. So really good cross map coordination out of LA Thieves. Uh, this is a really good listen in and I, I'm so glad we were able to dissect this.